Calculate the reverse breakdown voltage for a PN junction with ND equals 1 times 10 to the 19th per centimeter cubed and NA equals 3 times 10 to the 16th per centimeter cubed. So this is a pretty interesting problem where you're going to use a formula which combines a lot of different mini formulas that you've encountered through semiconductor devices or analog electronics. And it revolves around this uh, variable, epsilon max, which represents the breakdown electric field for silicon. And this is a constant given as 3 times 10 to the 15th, 3 times 10 to the 15th. I use capital E instead of times 10 to the 15th, just similar exponential notation, volts per centimeter. Anyways, this variable in of itself is equal to the following. Negative square root of 2 Q over epsilon s, epsilon naught, where epsilon s is the relative permittivity of silicon, and epsilon naught is the vacuum permittivity, both constants you have, should have seen by now. And all of this times Na times Nd over Na plus Nd times V0 plus Vr, where V0 is the built-in potential barrier and Vr is the reverse voltage applied, or in this case, Vr would represent VBR, or V breakdown voltage. So our ultimate goal right now is to find this variable here. So we're going to have to do a few algebraic rearrangements to this equation. So for starters, we want to get rid of this negative term here. So the simplest way of doing that is by squaring both terms, thereby creating a positive term on the right-hand side. So now, epsilon squared max equals 2q over epsilon s epsilon naught times na nd over na plus nd times v0 plus v, I'll call it breakdown from now on. So now, our goal is to isolate VBR. So let at first let's uh, multiply epsilon s epsilon naught and divide by two q. That's the most straightforward way of doing it. So if we multiply both sides, the epsilons will be in the numerator. And dividing both sides by two q, the two q will be in the denominator. All of this equals the remainder, n a n d over N A plus N D V O plus V B R. And now the best thing we can do is divide both sides by N A N D over N A plus N D. So if you divide the right hand side by that, it becomes one. And if you divide the left hand side by this, you take the reciprocal of it. So this ends up turning into epsilon squared max times epsilon s, epsilon naught, over 2q, times na plus nd, over na times nd. Make sure to flip those uh, signs. All of that equals vo plus vbr. Last thing we have to do, the easiest, is uh, move vo to the other side. So flipping it around, vbr equals the entire term, epsilon max, squared times epsilon s, epsilon naught, over 2q times na plus nd, over na times nd, all minus v0. So this will be the general form of how we can evaluate this problem. And we must keep in mind that V0, as I said, was built-in potential barrier, which is equivalent to thermal voltage times Ln of Na, Nd, over Ni, or the intrinsic concentration of silicon squared, 
which ends up equaling 0 0.0259 volts, the constant that you've seen a lot, times ln, Na, which was given to be 3 times 10 to the 16th per centimeter cubed, times Nd, 1 times 10 to the 19th per centimeter cubed, all over the constant 10 to the 10th, remember to square it, per centimeter cubed, which would be centimeter negative six, if, since we're squaring it, all of these terms will cancel out. And plugging this into the calculator, we get 0 0.923 volts. So now we can evaluate the rest of the problem. Now that I've cleared some space, all that's left is to plug in all the numbers into the variables, including the V0, which I moved up to the top right here. So V breakdown equals, as I've said before, 3E5 volts per centimeter squared times 11.8. In some other textbooks, they'll say 11.7, but for the sake of this problem, let's just assume 11.8 times 8.85 e negative 14 farad per centimeter over 2 times 1.6022 e negative 19 coulombs times na which was given to be 3 e 16 per centimeter cubed plus nd which was 1e 19 per centimeter cubed over the product between the two all of this minus V0 of 0 0.923 volts. This should give you the answer to the problem, which is approximately 8.88 volts. I hope this video made this problem a little clearer. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below, and good luck.